Power Query is a data transformation and data preparation engine. Queries Pane. A view of all your available queries. Ribbon. The Ribbon navigation experience provides multiple tabs to add transforms, select options for your query, and access different ribbon buttons to complete various tasks. Current View. Your main working view, which by default, displays a preview of the data for your query. Query Settings. A view of the currently selected query with relevant information, such as query name, query steps, and various indicators. Welcome to Data Mualem. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. In this series of videos, we will look into Power Query. With Power Query, you can connect to many different data sources and transform the data into the shape you want. Currently, two Power Query experiences are available. Power Query Online and Power Query for Desktop. We will start with the Power Query Desktop first and then move forward to online in my next series of videos. So let us get started. Click on Transform Data to open the Power Query window. The help button is always available here, if we get stuck in any activities, we can use the documentation. Now let's go back and add some sample data. Click on help, select sample data, and then click on load sample data. Once selected, we can see a table appears, click on transform data to go to power query. In power query, mainly we have queries pane, ribbon, current view and query settings. The ribbon has the most available tasks, which makes it the most important pane. The ribbon navigation experience provides multiple tabs to add transforms, select options for your query, and access different ribbon buttons to complete various tasks. So, let's see every feature available. New sources to ingest the data from different sources. Recent source gives all the sources ingested earlier. Enter data to create a custom table with manual entries. We can specify the table name with as many columns and the data as we want, which can be used for storing static data. Data source settings to configure the existing data sources and also to delete if not needed. Manage parameters, a parameter serves as a way to easily store and manage a value that can be reused. I will explain it in a more detailed way in the next video. Query properties can be used to rename it and as well as to disable loading the data. We will see advanced editor in the next video. Manage is for deleting the query or duplicating it and also referencing other queries. Choose columns. Is to choose whichever is required in the dataset instead of deleting it. It works as hiding a column in the front end. Here we can see once a deselect the columns, a new step will be added as removed columns. Go to column is to view that particular column. Remove columns is the same as the Choose Columns feature. Eventually creates the same step in the query settings. Next is Keep Row and Remove Rows, which is used for keeping or removing selected rows either the top or the bottom ones. sorting the columns either ascending or descending. In Power Query, we can split a column through different methods. We can split either by a delimiter or number of characters and many more options are available. Let me take an example of date here, if I need to split the date into the day, month and year, just click on split by a delimiter. And then select split in every occurrence option. There are a lot of options available for complicated splits. There we go, the column has split into three different columns.
Next is, group by, it helps in grouping the columns with different operations like count, minute, max, and average. The data type is to change the data type of a particular column whenever it's required. Next is, use the first row as headers. Usually the data from an Excel or any other file the column names will not be recognized sometimes. In that case, we can use this feature. Replace values are to replace the values in a column with an alternate value. In this example, I will remove all June months to December. And there we go, it works like a charm. Merge queries. A merge queries operation joins two existing tables together based on matching values from one or multiple columns. We can choose to use different types of joins, depending on the output we want. I will merge the financial dataset with the sample one. Nothing is matching between both queries, but still, as an example let me do this. Select columns and the join type and click OK. And we can see all nulls, as there is no match. The append operation creates a single table by adding the contents of one or more tables to another. There are two options if we need to append only two tables, or we can even append three or more tables as well. Select the table and click OK. As we can see the table has been appended. Next is combine files, we will discuss that in the next video. I have already created a video on text and sentiment analytics. Please click on the above card to watch the video. Stay tuned for the next part of this video and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.